This tutorial covers the various transformations of a parabola, which is a review of grade 10 material. Before we begin, I'd like you to print out your own copy of this investigation from the Lessons folder on the My Class site. Try the investigation out yourself, and then watch the rest of this video to check your answers. Let's go on to the answers. If you want to graph the original parabola, so the y equals x squared graph, you're going to have to take all of your x values and square them in brackets. Okay, so this is how you get all your y values, and then you're going to use this table of values to graph, and you should get a u. Now it's a little bit sharp, but that's just because I used Word, which isn't a great graphing um, software, but that's okay. Um, so you kind of get the gist of it. Here is the vertex right there at the tip which is at 0, 0. Remember that you need your brackets and also the comma in between. This graph is also opening upwards and we're going to talk about the step pattern for a little bit. So the step pattern is a shorter way of graphing without the table of values. What you need is your vertex and your equation. So using the vertex you're just going to put a dot right at the vertex and then you're going to start counting towards the next nice dot on your parabola. So here's one right here and the next nice one would be right there. It just falls on nice numbers. So what we're going to do is from the vertex we go over one and then up one square to get to the next dot and that's what this means. Then from that dot to the next dot you're going to go over one and up one, two, three. So that's where you'd put the next dot. That's what this means. And then lastly, you're going to go over one and up one, two, three, four, five to get to the next dot. And that's what this means. So the step pattern is one, three, five. And you can always do the exact same thing on the other side in order to graph the other side of the parabola. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start manipulating the equation and seeing what kind of transformations happen when you change the equation around. What's going to happen to the graph? So in these examples, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add and subtract numbers from the back of the graph. And it looks like when I add 2, the graph went up 2. When I subtracted 3, it went down 3. So this number at the back represents your k value. And your k value makes a parabola shift vertically up or down. The direction of opening doesn't change. The vertex obviously is going to change. But then also the step pattern is still 1, 3, 5, so that hasn't changed either. So notice that the general shape of the graph hasn't changed, it's just been shifted up and down. If I move on and I add or subtract numbers inside the bracket, so within this squared, whatever is being squared, so this is a minus 2 and a plus 1. When I subtracted a number inside the brackets, it moved the graph to the right that number of times. And when I added a number, it moved it to the left. So it's almost like the opposite of what you would think. So a negative, I mean, normally you would think it moves to the left, but this guy's going to move to the right. And then normally we think of a positive as going towards the right, but it's actually going to move it to the left. This, again, doesn't change the shape. Okay, you're still opening up and your step pattern is still 1, 3, 5, obviously your vertex is going to change. Now the only reason this guy is opening down is because of this negative in front. So in this case, your A value is a negative 1. That affects your step pattern. Your step pattern, which is originally 1, 3, 5, is going to now be multiplied by your A value. So since the A value is negative 1, negative 1 times your original 1 gives you negative 1. Negative 1 times your original value of 3 gives you negative 3. And negative 1 times 5 gives you a negative 5. So let's just see what this means. Starting at the vertex, to get to the next dot, you're going to go over 1 and down 1. What, that's what the negative 1 represents, going downwards. Now I'm here. Then you're going to go over 1 and down one, two, three to get to the next nice dot. That's what this means. And then from there over one and down, one, two, three, four, five. So if I had drawn those dots and connected them, they would make this nice side of the parabola. 
and I can do the same to the other side to get the other side of the parabola. Okay, so I want you to notice that your A value is going to affect your step pattern. Just to recap that this number on the inside is your H value and it's going to shift your parabola horizontally left and right. Let's go into more depth about the A value. So if the A value is higher than 1, like right here, your parabola doesn't have the same shape anymore. It's actually going to be stretched by a factor of 2, which means that it's going to be stretched twice as tall as it was before. That indicates that it's going to get a lot thinner. Think of a piece of bubble gum. If you're going to stretch it, it's going to become thin. So this graph has been stretched vertically. And if this number is less than negative 1, it's also going to be a stretch. The only thing is, it's, if it's less than negative 1, it makes it a negative and then it would probably flip upside down, which is a reflection. Okay. Now the reason why this one is a little bit wider is because its A value is between negative 1 and positive 1. So if it's between negative 1 and positive 1, that's going to make it a vertical compression. Notice that it is going to affect all of the step pattern numbers. So instead of the regular step pattern as 1, 3, 5, you're now going to multiply it by whatever your A value was. So in this example, the A value was 2. So 1, 3, 5 becomes 2, 6, and 10. And the 1, 3, 5 here multiplied by negative half becomes negative 0 0.5, negative 1.5, and negative 2.5. Okay, so just as a reminder that your A value reflects if it's a negative. It also stretches and compresses and or compresses your parabola. Okay, let's go over all of the summary, just everything in general. The K value is going to make your curve um, go vertically shifted upwards or downwards. Okay, the shape doesn't change. Your H value is going to horizontally shift uh, left or right, depending on if it's a minus, which is the right, and then if it's a plus, that's going to make it go to the left. Your A value is going to be a vertical stretch, compression, or reflection. Okay, so if it's bigger than 1 or less than negative 1, it's going to be a vertical stretch. If it's between negative 1 to 0 or 0 to 1, it's going to be a vertical compression. Okay, which means this one means it's going to get fatter, this one means it's going to get thinner. When you have the overall equation of a quadratic, that's this part right here. Okay, so your A, your H, and your K. Your vertex is the opposite of your H in here, and the exact same number that's out here is your K. Your step pattern is going to be 1, 3, 5, but it is affected by your A. So we'll talk about that more when we're graphing.